Hi guys. So we wanted to make a little bit of a different video today. A bunch of you guys have already seen what's been going on with Ardenbri on the Ardenbri channel. And you know that we wanted to help them and we started a GoFundMe page for them. Mm. And we're not raising money for anything weird. We wanted to help Ardenbri because they are facing some huge issues right now, a huge challenge. Some years ago they bought their homestead that they have been vlogging on, li living on, and they raise their kids there, they homeschool there, it's their office for the YouTube channel, They, it's their home. Mm. And just a few weeks ago they found out that they have mold in their house. And the reason they looked into that was because their kids had been very sick with respiratory issues. They had been sick to the point that they had to actually visit the emergency room a few times. And I have worked before with similar issues, gone to houses where there had been mold issues, and it is it is really, really dangerous. And the, the, the project, as they were looking into it more, and they had experts come out, and they still do, it just started to get bigger and bigger and bigger, and to the point where the cost and, and the overwhelming aspect of it was just crazy big. And, and so many of you guys asked how they can help, and asked to start a GoFundMe. Arden Bree didn't want to do that. They, they didn't want to start a GoFundMe. They didn't want to put uh, their problem on anybody else. Mm. So, um, yeah, we just reached out to them. Yeah, told them we thought, we thought they should accept that offer of help because there are so many people that, that um, would love to help them and it's just hard when you are in need to accept help. Sometimes it's a very hard, humbling thing. So it's, I understand that, that. It's more blessed to give than to receive. Um, mm. and, and I think it's like that in, in, in any case. This is about a lot of people, us, you guys, wanting to extend help. And so we started this GoFundMe. And... Gosh... How long has this been going now? Maybe 48 hours? 48 hours. On the GoFundMe page, we have listed all the costs that they already know are coming in. And when I looked at these numbers, I, we, we were in touch with Arden Bree. And when I looked at these numbers, I was, I, I didn't want to say this to Arden Bree at the time because I didn't want to encourage, uh, discourage them. I didn't want to be a voice of negativity <laughs> for them at this time, but I felt like, wow, this will be much, much more. But together with them, we set the goal at $30,000. And guys, it has been almost 48 hours and we are way above $40,000. Unbelievable, just, just unbelievable. And we had told them that we would share this on our channel with you guys as well and we had no idea that this would that the response would be so overwhelming mm -hmm. but we still wanted to make this video yeah and still if you have yet to check out um, their GoFundMe Hi. page you can uh, we'll link it here but you can read it read their story and read um, a little bit more in detail what's going on and um, even if you can't give yourself, maybe you could share it on your Facebook page or on your um, whatever you want to share it on, and um, yeah, just get the word out there that others would, who have the opportunity to, would be able to give. Yeah, and and you know the reason why we keep this open right now, the the goal, the goal is met, but it's it's not about that for us. The reason we keep this running right now is. 
like we said, we believe the cost will be much more. But then they didn't even list all the extra expenses they will have. They, they will have to leave their house. They are losing their house. They, they will have to tear down everything. I mean, this is this is almost like building a new house. In a sense, it's, it's maybe even more work because first you have to tear everything out. You have to really get to the bottom of this. This is a... Oh, oh. No, let Papa, no, no, Papa this is dangerous. This is a farmhouse that's almost a hundred years old. And there, there, there's much more cost than what they listed on there. But, you know, that's why we're keeping it running. But just check it out. See? Justin Rhodes. Justin and Rebecca Rhodes, they made a video. And, and they did something that also blew my mind. They want to give permaculture chicken their first no. online course for how to raise chicken they wanted to give that for free for people who are donating i think what did they say they like said people who donate ten dollars but if but if even if you just really want that course and can only afford ten dollars if you write them and um send them what they say the receipt or yeah something um that they would give you the course just because it, it's so much on their hearts that yeah that art and brie gets supported as well so it just yeah just. yeah so guys this is on a completely voluntary basis it's it's on a it's completely only if you have the means only if it's being put on your heart nobody is begging for money we want to offer this this way of being able to help Art and Brie and, and just a, on a practical note people have been saying GoFundMe takes so much they actually don't take that much people have been saying hey we want to support them directly through PayPal PayPal also takes some money and GoFundMe is safe and it's easy and we just want to encourage you um, if, if that is holding you back you know don't worry about that just this was the most convenient way um, to support them that we all agreed on with them so yeah yeah guys so thank you we will keep you updated on our farm as well wanted to post a update this week on our bottle calf lucky and on the chicken tractors hope you guys will stay tuned and we'll see you soon bye bye this is actually um, Kantarella in Swedish just picked these in the forest here and are freezing them gonna make some delicious soups or sauces with them mm. anything else? Danny's helping us Danny you wanna say bye? bye bye